Hello everyone. If you're a senior citizen in Canada, you know the struggles of making ends meet on a fixed income. The cost of housing, food, medical expenses and other necessities continue to rise, making our limited budgets even tighter. But I have some great news to share today that will bring some financial relief. The government has announced an increase in old age security pension payments starting this month. Now isn't that music to our ears? The new OAS rates could provide up to $2150 per month, which is a significant boost from the previous amounts. Just imagine having that extra cash readily available to cover more bills and expenses that have been piling up. I don't know about you, but this news certainly excites me. If you find this update helpful so far, please take a moment to like this video. Your support keeps me motivated to continue providing valuable information for seniors. Now, let's get into the details so you know exactly what to expect with this OAS increase. OAS payment rates are increasing starting as early as the end of February 2024. This change reflects the government's commitment to better support our senior citizens financially. The new OAS rates could now provide up to $2150 per month, which represents a momentous increase from previous payment amounts. This extra money will surely help alleviate the financial burden many seniors face from rising living costs. Expanding on the significance of this OAS increase, it's crucial to recognize the profound impact it will have on the lives of seniors across Canada. Imagine the relief and peace of mind that comes with knowing you have several hundred dollars in additional funds each month. This newfound financial flexibility translates into tangible improvements in various aspects of daily life. For starters, seniors will no longer have to constantly worry about making ends meet or choosing between essential expenses like housing, transportation, groceries, and medical bills. Instead of feeling constrained by limited resources, they can breathe easier knowing that they have the financial means to cover these critical costs without sacrificing other necessities. This financial empowerment not only alleviates stress but also restores a sense of dignity and independence, allowing seniors to maintain their quality of life with greater ease and confidence. Furthermore, the ripple effects of this OAS boost extend beyond just meeting basic needs. With more disposable income at their disposal, seniors may find themselves exploring new opportunities for leisure and recreation. Whether it's pursuing hobbies, joining community activities, or traveling to visit loved ones, the ability to engage in meaningful experiences enhances overall well-being and social connections. These moments of joy and fulfillment are invaluable, contributing to a richer and more fulfilling retirement experience. By enabling seniors to lead more active and fulfilling lives, the OAS increase not only addresses immediate financial concerns but also promotes holistic wellness and happiness in their golden years. Ultimately, this boost in financial security not only enhances individual seniors' lives but also strengthens the fabric of our communities by ensuring that everyone, regardless of age, can live with dignity and fulfillment. Delving into the specifics, it's important to note that the implementation of the new OAS rates is anticipated to commence during the last week of February 2024. While the government aims for a swift rollout, the exact timing of when you'll receive your first increased payment may vary slightly based on your individual payment schedule. However, rest assured that in most cases, you can expect the additional funds to be deposited into your account within the first couple of days of March at the latest. This timeline ensures that seniors can promptly access the financial relief provided by the OAS increase, offering much-needed support without unnecessary delays. As we await these adjustments, it's advisable to stay informed about any updates or notifications from relevant authorities regarding the exact timing of your enhanced OAS payments. By staying proactive and informed, you can effectively manage your finances and plan ahead to leverage the benefits of this welcomed boost in OAS rates. Regarding eligibility criteria, individuals must meet certain requirements to qualify for OAS benefits. Firstly, you must be at least 65 years old as of February 1 ST, 2024, to be eligible for OAS payments. Additionally, you must be a Canadian citizen or legal resident who has resided in Canada for a minimum of 10 years since turning 18. These criteria ensure that OAS benefits are extended to those who have contributed to Canadian society and have established a significant presence in the country. Furthermore, it's important to note that the government periodically adjusts OAS payment amounts to account for changes in the cost of living. This adjustment is typically done quarterly and is based on the Consumer Price Index, which tracks inflation rates. As a result, even beyond the initial increase, 
OAS payments will continue to rise gradually to align with the evolving economic landscape and ensure that seniors receive adequate financial support to meet their needs. This proactive approach reflects the government's commitment to maintaining the purchasing power of OAS benefits and safeguarding the financial well-being of Canadian seniors over the long term. One of the most reassuring aspects of the OAS increase is that seniors do not need to navigate through complicated application processes or fill out extensive paperwork to access the enhanced benefits. If you are already receiving OAS payments, the increased amounts will be automatically applied to your account without any additional steps required on your part. This streamlined approach ensures that seniors can seamlessly transition to the new payment rates without encountering bureaucratic hurdles or delays. For those who have not yet begun receiving OAS pension benefits, rest assured that any new applications will be processed at the updated 2024 rates. This means that you will automatically receive the enhanced OAS payments once your application is approved, eliminating the need for separate requests or follow-ups. It's also important to note that while OAS is a valuable source of income for many seniors, the government implements clawback measures for individuals with higher incomes. However, the new OAS amounts and threshold levels have been adjusted to ensure that more seniors qualify for either full or partial payments, thereby extending financial support to a wider demographic. This inclusive approach reflects the government's commitment to providing assistance to seniors across various income brackets and ensuring that all eligible individuals can benefit from the OAS increase, regardless of their financial circumstances. Let's do a quick recap of the key details. Starting in late February 2024, the federal government will begin increasing OAS payments, providing seniors with the potential to receive up to $2150 per month. This significant boost in income aims to alleviate financial pressures and improve the quality of life for seniors across Canada. The additional funds will be deposited directly into seniors' accounts without the need for any action on their part. Simply keep an eye out for the larger direct deposits, which may start appearing as early as the end of the same month. Furthermore, beyond this initial increase, seniors can expect their OAS payments to continue rising modestly each year. This adjustment ensures that the OAS remains aligned with the evolving cost of living, providing ongoing support to seniors in managing their expenses. Overall, this news is incredibly welcome for our senior community, offering much needed relief from financial burdens and contributing to an enhanced quality of life. Taking a critical look at the motives and actions behind the OAS increase, it's clear that this policy change represents a positive step by the government to enhance the financial security and dignity of seniors. The additional assistance is undoubtedly justified, considering the significant challenges many elderly individuals encounter in making ends meet. With the rising costs of living, the extra funds provided by the OAS increase will undoubtedly have a positive impact on recipients' daily lives. However, while this increase is a step in the right direction, bolder policy changes are still necessary to fully address the comprehensive needs of seniors. While the OAS boost provides immediate relief, it may not be sufficient to meet the needs of the most vulnerable elderly individuals. It's essential for policymakers to recognize that while the OAS increase is commendable, it should be viewed as just the beginning of a broader effort to address the complex and multifaceted needs of Canada's aging population. By implementing more comprehensive reforms and taking bold action, the government can truly make a meaningful difference in the lives of seniors across the country. Despite the increase in OAS payments, it's important to recognize that even at the new higher rates, they may still not be adequate to cover the basic expenses of the most vulnerable elders. It's crucial to acknowledge that OAS represents just one pillar of Canada's retirement system, and additional support is needed across various fronts to ensure the well-being of seniors. In addition to enhancing OAS, the government must also focus on improving other components of the retirement system, such as CPP, Canada Pension Plan, GIS, Guaranteed Income Supplement, Supplements for Low-Income Seniors, Elderly Benefits Programs, Housing Supports, and more. These complementary measures are essential to provide comprehensive support to seniors and address the diverse range of challenges they face in their daily lives. By bolstering these various components of the retirement system, the government can better meet the evolving needs of Canada's aging population and ensure that seniors can enjoy a dignified and secure retirement. It's imperative that policymakers prioritize these initiatives to create a more inclusive and supportive environment for seniors across the country. While the increase in OAS payments represents progress, it's essential to recognize that this initiative likely serves as just a small part of the government's broader political motivations, especially during an election year. 
While additional assistance for seniors is undoubtedly justified, considering the significant challenges many elderly individuals face in making ends meet, it's also crucial to acknowledge that bolder policy changes are necessary to fully address seniors' needs. While the additional funds from the OAS increase will undoubtedly improve recipients' daily lives, they may not be sufficient to comprehensively address the diverse range of challenges seniors encounter. Therefore, it's imperative for policymakers to pursue more ambitious reforms and initiatives aimed at providing holistic support to seniors across various domains. By implementing bolder policy changes that go beyond incremental adjustments to OAS, the government can better meet the complex and multifaceted needs of seniors, ensuring that they can live with dignity, security, and independence in their later years. This approach will require a concerted effort to address systemic issues and prioritize the well-being of Canada's aging population. Increasing OAS is progress, but this likely is a small part of the government's larger political motivations during an election year. The OAS bump provides a relatively inexpensive way to curry favor with senior voters. But much more systemic reform is needed to properly care for our aging population. We must keep advocating for broad investments in healthcare, transit, housing, pensions and support services. Only through comprehensive changes can the government demonstrate a full commitment to seniors' financial security and quality of life. This OAS increase should be just the start. In summary, while the forthcoming increase in OAS payments is undoubtedly welcome news and will offer tangible financial relief and benefits in seniors' daily lives, it's essential not to lose sight of the need for additional bold, structural policy changes to comprehensively meet the needs of elderly citizens both now and in the future. While the OAS boost represents progress, there is still much work to be done to address the complex and diverse challenges faced by seniors across Canada. Moving forward, it's imperative for policymakers to remain committed to pursuing broader reforms aimed at enhancing the overall well-being and quality of life for seniors. This includes addressing issues such as affordable housing, healthcare accessibility, transportation, and income security comprehensively. By adopting a holistic approach and implementing bold policy changes, we can ensure that seniors receive the support and resources they need to live with dignity, security, and independence in their later years. I hope you found this video informative regarding all the details of the OAS increase coming later this month. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe to stay up to date on news and resources related to senior finances and government benefits programs. The more we spread the word, the more prepared our community can be to access supports they are entitled to. Let's also keep engaging with elected officials to advocate for the comprehensive reforms needed to enable health, security and dignity in our aging population. The journey to a just society requires ongoing activism, empathy, and solidarity across generations. But this OAS increase proves our voices are being heard. Together, we can build the fair, compassionate Canada our seniors deserve. Thank you for watching be well and take care.